Hi guys, welcome to your pick a card reading with a message from the Pleiadians. So we've got pile, we've got three piles. Pile number one is abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Pile two, you have surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. Pile three, you have ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. Beautiful. I'm really excited about these messages. And um, I'll see you in your piles. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. You've chosen abundance with when your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Now I've pulled three oracle cards for you. We have Mintakin with longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. We have number 55 on the clock, so there's a ton of change. I'm getting that you might feel a bit unsettled at this time, but um, 101 on the clock says to trust trust your intuition and you'll be guided through this passage. We have the child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Exactly. So you know what the right thing is to do and you know the, you know the path. It's like your heart knows the path. And um, to trust your intuition and follow your heart. I'm getting Pocahontas vibes as well. There's something about being in tune with nature and um, following something about the natural seasons and cycles of life there. We have the sweet waters with sensuality, romance, enjoyment, fertility and balance. And that goes back to the first card, which was the abundance card. And this is when your heart's intention is to serve. So when your heart is in alignment with your soul's highest good and uh, 147 on the clock, it, there's... There's balance there and um, there's something here about like I'm actually getting with this card here I'm getting um, actually like Iron Man vibes you know how he's got the the dudeki here and um, and I can see him kind of being so enthralled by what he what he does he's so enthralled by his work that he kind of loses track of all time and space and he just gets lost in the job that he's doing and the world can be moving around outside of him, but he's he's so lost in his work because he's so passionate about it. So there's something about um, following your passions as well. When these when these oracle cards first came out for your pile, um, I, I felt the sadness. Like um, it's like you're 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 mourning something or grieving for something that that is not available to you at this present time. And I'm getting that it's the energy of home. Which comes back to the Mintaken card, longing for home and belonging. And I'm being shown that your home is there, 257 on the clock. Your home, your family, your soul, tribe, they are right there, 303 on the clock. They're just through the veil. So there could be a need to, um, or if you're wanting to connect with, with these beings, you're most welcome to. They are always there, 313 on the clock. So you, you can always connect with them through the veil, um, but I'm getting that you kind of, you almost have to stop and stop trying to fill your time and stop trying to move so much um, and actually be still and come into balance. And that's where the intelligence of your heart will come in as well, your soul's, like your soul's heart almost. So the Pleiadians, Pleiadians are just reminding you, if you're feeling a bit out of kilter at the moment, um, just come back into balance and tune into your heart space. And that's where you will remember your soul's journey. We've got the Seven of Cups. So what I'm getting here for the Seven of Cups and the Mintakin longing for home, that you, you did actually choose to come here. So the Pleiadians are just asking you to remember why you came here. And that will help you to feel a bit more um, at peace with, with being here okay so if you're feeling a bit lost um, or unsatisfied with your reality uh, I'm getting someone's feeling quite pissed off that things are just um, it's it's you come from where, wherever you come from pile one you 437 on the clock you come from somewhere that is just like really beautiful and people people treat each other with respect and there's a lot of love and you came here and you're just like, what the hell is this shit, you know? Um, people just kind of, the the reality of being here, wherever you are, whatever your situation is, um, 
oh knight of wands just flew out in reverse on top of the mintaken so maybe maybe you chose to come but there was a certain amount of reluctance um maybe i'm getting illusions is some sort of maybe you became disillusioned when you yeah you became disillusioned when you came here and um i'm seeing someone as they you know they're ready to sign up for something and then when they get there, they realize the job's bigger than they thought it was. 527 on the clock. But you have everything you need, including your spirit team on the other side. You have the Pleiadians here to help you. Um, I'm getting that there might be something you need some healing for. So um, the Pleiadians are actually offering, they're extending their help to you. 541 on the clock. So um, if you can ask them for some help here, uh, make sure you ask for the Pleiadians um, of light. So whoever you work with on the spirit side, just be sure that they are of the light um and just remember that you know you get to stake your claim right so you uh you get to choose who who enters your energy field okay but there might be something that needs just a little tweaking and you can ask the pleiadians or you can ask your higher self for assistance with this and that'll just help you kind of move forward in whatever this resistance is but i'm getting that um there was a choice to come here like everything's free will um but the Knight of Wands in reverse is kind of suggesting that you were afraid of maybe there could be a couple of things going on here that you were afraid that you would forget who you were and maybe lose your way and end up stuck in some kind of cycle that did not benefit you and didn't align with why you actually came here in the first place. And the, the Pleiadians are actually um, asking me to tell you that you may, maybe that did actually happen. Maybe you kind of went on a few detours or you got sidetracked with something. But just remember that, or at least try to acknowledge that you, you did actually learn something through those detours. So all was not lost. You know, you, you, can, you can still um, benefit from those detours. And maybe even your higher self took you on those detours anyway for a higher purpose as well. But you had a choice to be here. I think I'm getting a bit of reluctance though. We've got the Four of Cups underneath the Child of the Cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Now what I'm getting here is that you have this cup that you want to offer or that you want to have. I'm getting a lot of dis dissatisfaction from this pile. And I really feel um, it's... It's a sadness, it's a mourning, it's a grieving. Um, you're in this you're in this space where you just maybe you just need to have a holiday, you need to have a break and um, replenish your own cup. But just know that everything that you know that you need, um, everything that you need to do, all the answers that you require are within you. And I'm just hearing look inside your heart. Now, with the Four of Cups, that can speak to uh, complacency or dissatisfaction. So the, the Pleiadians are actually asking you to, just in order to help you, um, to just count your blessings. And there may be few and far between, at least on first glance. But the Pleiadians are just asking you to just pause for a moment. And instead of looking at the thing that you're longing for and constantly putting your energy into that, to um, instead look around you and just be grateful for anything and everything. And it's not that, it's not to take away from whatever your experience is. It's more that it's um, it's going to help you shift your perspective so that you can get moving again. I'm kind of being shown a, a cart with big wheels being stuck in the mud and you've been stuck in the mud and you've been trying to get out of this rut um, a certain way. And maybe you have tried a couple different things. But there's um, something else over here that's going to help you move forward. And that um, may start with um, just acknowledging something that is going right for you at this time. Even if it is something really simple, like you had a really nice cup of tea in the morning, or um, you slept well and you didn't have nightmares that night, or it, um, I don't know, it's, it's not raining anymore. <laughs> just really um, get creative with what you what may be going well for you or what little droplets of sunshine there may be in your in your life at this time and we have um the five of pentacles 
the sweet waters uh, sensuality romance enjoyment fertility and balance so perhaps you don't feel that you are deserving of having maybe there's like a sense of achievement once you achieve something then you can have the balance the balance the the romance the good things the relaxation but you're actually always worthy of that and this resistance to enjoying the good things in your life um, the the blessings that you are that are available to you so she's the five of pentacles is looking over at the four of cups so it's like they're kind of tied together so this um, feeling like you don't deserve something um, positive is because it's wrapped up somehow in this longing for something that is not quite there yet it may be on the horizon but it hasn't quite arrived yet and I'm getting as well the Pleiadians are actually asking me to just mention that uh, the energy of lack comes from that longing for something that is not there so um, if you can somehow get yourself into this energy of I have enough I am enough in some way shape or form and that will um, attract more so it's just that law of attraction so pile one thank you so much for being here if this has resonated for you at all please feel free to like share and subscribe thank you so much for being here and i'll see you in the next one bye pile two welcome to your reading um you've chosen surrender with surrender your need to control the outcome just be with life in this present moment pile two if you have come from you may have come from pile one or you may feel guided to go there um, because there's something about the portal of your heart. Your heart is a portal, it is an energetic gateway. And there's something, um, I've, I'm, the Pleiadians are saying, um, I can see them almost whispering to each other. They're kind of saying, oh, they're not using it as much as they could, you know. Um, like, there's a lot more power in in something that you have, and I'm getting that it's to do with your heart, so it could be some sort of, passionate project or just the love that you have um, maybe you're not quite seeing that energy to the fullest extent uh, so we have inner temple with devotion tune into the portal of your heart and I just want to say this before I forget what are your passions what are you passionate about what lights you up tap into your heart what is there where have the most of your wounds, the majority of your wounds, what have they been around? There's something in that, and I feel that that's something you just need to meditate on, rather than me telling you what that is. That's something for you to explore. And we have cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. So that's the second time surrender has come up in your reading, pile two. So you really are being asked to just surrender, and I'm seeing someone who's like going down a, a rapid river, um, so river rapids and at first this person is fighting against the current and they're just they're not getting anywhere because the current is much stronger and it has a flow of its own it has a natural state and being of its own and as soon as that person just decides to lie on their back and just roll with it 1344 on the clock there's something about just going with it and then looking for an opportunity to get out of the rapids or just seeing where it takes them and you just never know it might end up taking you to I don't know I just feel like it might take you to like Lemuria or it might take you over a beautiful waterfall and there's like a rainbow there and then sparkling water and so you end up in this magical place and it all happens because you chose to surrender to the flow of life and the word alchemy is being highlighted to me here there's something here about transformation if you look at her she was one thing and then she's cracked open to become something else entirely and and she's all sparkly and gorgeous i mean she's beautiful either way but there's something else that's being brought forward as a result of that surrender so the questions here as well this is a very contemplative pile pile number two what are you resisting and why might you be resisting that and there's no judgment behind these questions. It's simply 
instead of having absolutes, instead of saying this is this way and we cannot have it another way, instead of saying things like that, what about um, rephrasing something and re reframing it and saying, why do I feel that this is this way? How can it be more? How can it be better? How can it be different? It's just opening up, using open-ended questions to get us thinking instead of being stuck in one particular way, in a way of being. And your third card, pile two, is the ripple effect. Part of something bigger, details are taken care of. So whatever you're being asked to surrender to, there is something that um, is happening around you that you may not be able to see. You may sense it. And you are part of something beyond... I'm getting this example of like, um, I'm going to use the exam example. I used that in a reading the other day. The, the example of the exam. Okay, so you've, you've done all the study, you've set the exam, and now you're waiting for the results. And you need those results to, to know if you are going to be able to um, apply for that job over there or pursue this particular career path. But you may not be able to move forward until you have those exam results, okay? And you're kind of in the zone where you ha you're you kind of being required to, um, you know, whatever you feel that you need to do in that time where you're waiting, you, you can't move forward. So you just have to sit and be with whatever energy is present with you. So there's kind of like a, a simmering energy here where... You kind of look in it. This I, I don't I don't feel guided to go too far into that actually, but there's something about, um, you know, waiting for something to come in, and it's all out of your hands. But there's something that is happening outside of you that you have to almost wait for that to come to completion or present itself. There's something around that 17:07 on the clock. Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Okay. There is an opportunity that is to do with something you love, something that is connected to your heart, something you may have already been quite devoted to up till now. You may have spent quite a lot of time in this lifetime, or it could be multiple lifetimes, but there's something that, that you're passionate about. I'm just hearing wake up. So something that needs to be woken up in this time with the Nine of Swords and surrender that you're part of something bigger. It's a time to clear out whatever is um, being resisted. Anything that is creating a resistance that you have or any fears that you may have. Um, any, I'm getting um, any like limiting beliefs or any... Um, you know, negative aspects that don't serve you anymore. There's something here about using this time to, 18, 18 on the clock, to bring closure to various things. When, this see this page of pentacles, there's a light shining from the divine. So the divine has, is giving you an opportunity to, for something here. Spirit, what, can you clarify the page of pentacles? I'm getting that, I just heard it's right behind you. <laughs> So there could be something from your past or something that just happened. Um, there could literally be something right behind you. For someone specific, wherever you're sitting while you're watching this video, there's something actually right behind you that you've overlooked. I'm seeing a bookshelf. Ace of Cups. So it's something that you love. It could be self-love. So it could be that um, there is an opportunity here within choosing to give yourself self-love, 19, 19 on the clock. So I guess it's like pouring back into yourself and elevating yourself. See, this cup is um, overflowing with emotion I'm getting, um, emotional expression, and it's just abundant and it's being raised up, right? I always see this card kind of being raised up on a platform. So there's an opportunity here almost to raise yourself up in love, I guess, and to um, support yourself. And this card here 
it's making me think of like what aspects of you have been denied or have you turned away from and that actually there's even like a bullseye like a target so for someone specific it could be that you've been um there could be some kind of like um separation with your from yourself because of being made a target that is something really specific okay but um it's about collecting all parts of you through love and connecting 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 to yourself through love knowing that you are part of something bigger here and this is the time just to use um use the alchemy alchemical process of uh transforming transmutation and coming back to love the ace of cups and i do feel guided to say that um consider looking at doing a little bit of research into the ace of cups and discover what that is and how it could pertain to you but pile two you're being asked to surrender and i'm getting that it because there's feels like there's a lot of resistance here um that self-love is truly required at this time how can you love yourself more how can you surrender and let go and be in the flow and let go of the need to control certain outcomes because there is a bigger picture here and there are other factors involved that um at play that are at play we also we have a lot of um two parts so we've got she's separated or turned away from herself she's being split in half in a way but something else is coming up out of it just like the ace of cups just like the Ace of Cups. And we've also got these two um, facing away from each other. So I think there's also an, a, a final message here is to look at your reflection. Look at who you really are. Surrender to who you really are. There's no need to be afraid anymore. There's no need to feel that... Um, I'm getting like a persecution wound. So for you guys, um, the third eye, so your perception of yourself plus your heart and your solar plexus would be, um, if you felt like doing some homework, um, those are the chakras that I'm particularly, oh, and the root chakra, so feeling safe to be who you are. Those are the four chakras that I would recommend looking into. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life at this present moment. Thank you, Pile 2, for being here. If this has resonated for you in any way, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Pile 3, welcome to your reading. Now, the Pleiadians have quite a significant message for you. And I feel like, to some degree, you already have tapped into this energy. Ascension, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. I feel like you're already you're already, already aware of this to some degree. And I'm getting this message that um, maybe you're not quite sure you're not quite aware of just how big this goes. Because there is um, we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So there is a uh, divine plan at hand here. And you're laying foundations to something here. Or you already have done um, deep cellular healing arcturus energy physical and emotional healing um, she is looking at her heart and her heart is awakening so um, there could have been a time of deep healing for you and this was the foundation to whatever energy you're stepping into now which is this pile three we have the sirens use your voice expansion and freedom so you're stepping into this um, this freedom there is a veil that's been pulled back here and you're being shown a bit more of your soul plan. You're becoming aware of what that is. And you are choosing actively to um, engage with your heart. And and experience freedom through using your voice. There's, um, this card is so beautiful. She is experiencing all of herself. All facets of herself. I'm getting multifaceted. 24-24 on the clock. So she's multifaceted and she's enjoying the person that she is. And I think that's really, really beautiful. Um, I'm getting, because there's these um, spiral seashells, like it makes me think of the Fibonacci sequence. It's like you've you've gone around particular cycles before and I'm getting that you're, you're connecting to different parts of yourself from those times. 
and it's like you're somehow message like sending messages to and from this is this is really interesting it's like you're you're communicating somehow with um earlier aspects of you and it's like you're supporting yourself so if you felt really isolated or if you felt like you're you've had to be like the independent woman or independent man and you've you've had to really be your own cheerleader that's just for someone specific um Oh, there's too many cards just there you're you're cheering yourself on and there could be uh different aspects of yourself calling to you or reaching you from different lifetimes i'm getting parallel lifetimes here and um these timelines are almost there's some somehow you're able to sidestep and each of each aspect of you or maybe one of the most evolved aspects of you which is probably this lifetime is able to no i'm getting something about number two okay i don't i don't know what else that is that might someone might understand that but um you're able to somehow a part of you is able to sidestep and communicate with those parts of you and bring back different information and um kind of blend it into your dna or blend it into your your energy field somehow and as a result, you're able to, you're, you're, you're evolving because of that blending that is happening. This is like, I just got like 12D technology. This is some kind of technology that's beyond what we know as humans, but it's something that you or part of you or whoever you're working with knows how to do and um there's something you're ready for what we've got the seven of cups here i'm getting as well that you're you're more, tapping more into the fact that something here is an illusion and you're not you're not taking things as seriously so you know you came here to implant light and love and new technology and new thought processes new ways of being um, new pathways of light and you came here to 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 lay that foundation I'm getting for future generations okay um, and I just heard your time's not up yet just for anyone who's worried <laughs> you've still got plenty to go 27 27 on the clock but you are phasing out an old cycle and I'm getting that you're phasing out the 3d version of you and you might have to dip back into that so you you pile three are a very technologically advanced group and um, maybe you've been through the progression of pile one and two and that's landed you here but um you are you, you're very technologically advanced and we do have arcturus energy so you i get i'm getting that you're working somehow on some level you're working with um high frequency beings um there's something about the etheric plane and you could be starting to be um, like aware of that. You might be with that seven of cups and the illusions kind of fading away. Or you're seeing the matrix or just as an example, you're seeing the matrix as like an illusion. And I'm getting that there could be um, different layers of meaning with this 28, 28 on the clock. But something's come to a close here. And it's making way for new... Page of, page of pentacles is making way for a new opportunity there is a light being shone on something here and it's you are the one who's shining the light on something because you're using your voice more it's like you have done a lot of i'm getting like trauma healing and um that has there's been a lot of stuff in your cellular memory and as a result you've been able to or you felt more confident and capable of expressing yourself and a light is being shone now on an opportunity uh, for more expansion and more freedom. And I feel like all you guys need really is just a confirmation. Like, yep, cool, on the, on the right path. But continue to work with your guides. Um, the Pleiadians may wish to work with you or if you choose to. But I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. If this has resonated in any way, please feel free to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.